because we are strong in faith in faith in the precious faith we are strong this is so you can live rejoicing as the sheep of the foal oh you not to be stiff there oh 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 we have to look for and study the the greek and the and the hebrew language no this is so you can be at rest in this covenant eating green wheat if you want to uh, you know, study the Hebrew and the Greek, you can do it, but looking to be such a studious person, you miss the boat. Naturally, if you haven't experimented a good life and victory in the past, it's because you had no knowledge of grace and you were paying the price and you were in an ambient where it loaned itself for competitiveness, for boasting. Oh, I fast one day and I fast two days. Uh, I uh, been in this church for many years. I am I am uh, one of the elders here and it, it loaned itself for competitiveness. But here there's no boasting. Here we all won. Here everyone that says let the weak say I am strong and you come through faith there is no boasting here. What you have is to study how weak you are. How weak, Pastor? Once you know how weak you are, then you're going to say, well, what can I do? Then faith begins to take you into truth. And once you've discovered that in you dwells no good, that the deceitful of the desires of the flesh don't submit to the law of God. Once you discover that your flesh has no provision and is profitable for nothing, then you say, Lord, what do I do? Well, say you are strong. How? Because I say you are strong. So then I'm not weak? Yeah, well, you're weak in flesh, but you are strong in the demands that I command of you in your spirit. Let's look to another verse, second letter to Corinthians, it's the verse, the next verse I want to read, chapter 12. There are several precious verses here. Well, the great apostle to the Gentile speaks here. Look at what it says here. It said, this is so clear. God blessed us. He that was not his beloved, now he called his beloved. You don't have to be throwing that old covenant upon you. That was for the Jews. Look, the law was given, you know, to whom? To the Jews. And they could not fulfill the law. Why would you want to seek after something they could not accomplish? You're going to fail also. Well, you are a Gentile, brother. They brought you to a better covenant established on better promises. And you are insisting to live by the law and through Moses? No, no, no. You have to leave that. That's no longer in style. Well, if you get into the old covenant, the shadow of the good things to come, you're going to say, oh, the law. No, get out of that because you're always going to be in what's defective in the symbols Get into measuring the light correctly. Get into the new covenant of Jesus Christ according to grace and you will always be in what's correct. And no one can shut your mouth because you know who is the one who supports you, which is Jesus Christ.